Now that we're done thinning out the sides, we could then move on to our gold FX and begin to line up his C cup. I always start off at the bottom working my way to the top arch using the corners of the blade. I also want to make sure I'm as delicate as possible just so I don't mark them with the teeth of the trimmer. I'm going back to the fade and I'm detailing as much as possible with my no guard and thinning shears. I didn't like how the C cup was looking, so I went back to the C cup and realigned it. Now we're moving on to the left side of the C cup, and we're also starting off at the bottom and working our way to the top arch, staying as consistent as possible. I feel like the gold FX is a perfect balance between power and sharpness. It's just right there, right in between. Now we're gonna line up the back of the mullet and we're starting off at the middle and working our way to the side, staying as consistent as possible and making sure we comb the hair down when needed. Now that we're done with the mullet and putting all the hair up in place, we could then move on to the front line and use our gold effects to make them as crispy as possible. I usually start off at the middle and work my quay to the sides, and I'm also going as slow as possible, making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Cause if not, then the hair could shift and then you won't line them up properly. Also, you want to be careful not to take the corners too deep, it will give the haircut an awkward look.
hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow on the Instagram down below. Now that we're done detailing, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're going to apply some shave gel so that the blade can glide better. 